Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm trying to use a GameCube controller to play my Switch, but it doesn't... There is no... I can't. I need a converter! A GameCube to Switch controller converter. Shaped like a glorious purple GameCube, it allows you to play Breath of the Wild like you played Wind Waker. Unless you only played Wind Waker on Wii, you need to flip the switch on your Mario Chain Chomp lamp because this is Game Loot. Sneeze like you just swallowed your enemies and absorbed their powers thanks to the 25th anniversary Kirby's Dream Land plush tissue box cover. What an item. Then cover your body with Bandicoot for Crashmas after adorning the Crash Bandicoot Christmas sweater. To look even better, Bebop your bod into Spike suit from Cowboy Bebop. The made-to-order suit features aligning with graphics from the opening of the show, and rocking it will make everyone see you, Space Cowboy. For a vault boy to light up your life, fall into this. This LED lamp. The color changing desk decoration comes equipped with red, yellow, and blue. Spin the sweet sounds of the blue blur by dropping the needle on the Sonic Adventure official soundtrack vinyl. The first pressing is now available for pre order and includes a booklet with character art, lyrics, and a retrospective from some of the creators. Or create a retro look by applying nerd makeup. The cartridge compact kit looks like a normal Game Boy game but opens to reveal eyeshadow available in five styles. Marshmallow Vacuum, Zero Suit, Go Alone, Nom Nom, and Dungeon Crawler. Now let's crawl through the awesome abstract art of Jason Oaks. Slow that crawl down to a plot if your foot IQ is high enough to slip into Rick and Morty portal plotter slippers. They'll be sure to watch over your feet while your hands are overwatched by the Overwatch Razor Black Widow Chroma Gaming Keyboard. The backlighting offers 16.8 million customizable color options and it has an 80 million keystroke lifespan. Who counted that? Celebrate spanning 30 years of Final Fantasy the cutest way imaginable with a special edition plush chocobo and and Moogle. The Moogle even has a cake. Look at that cake. Look at it. For a deadly cute, look no further than the cute but deadly Colossal Diablo. The prime evil of terror has never looked so adorable. Shovel Knight becomes first fourable with the release of the Shovel Knight by first four figures. They recreate the modern retro hero in incredible detail and look, I'm just a big fan of Shovel Knight. I thought the game was great and this figure looks great. So yeah. If you figure to be more of a Destiny fan, wave two of the Destiny figure set is awaiting its fate on your shelf. But before you bow out for the night, build a bear befitting Bowser. The Super Mario Build a Bear collection also allows you to choose from Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Yoshi, and Toad. Or just outfit a bear with a Super Mario hoodie. Outfit yourself with an official Horizon Zero Dawn Aloy hoodie, but don't ever, ever forget your mother was a murloc t-shirt. If you're in the spirit of giving and you want to help out in the easiest way you can do online now, guys, then use the tab for a cause browser extension. Seriously, just by using the internet, you're helping out. They've raised over $400,000 so far. So click the link at the top of this video's description to start tabbing for your cause today. It's just, you just use the internet and you're helping out. It's that simple. So yeah. So what am I playing right now? Well, I finally finished Persona 5, which I loved. I beat it around 102 hours. I think a lot of you guys have played this game a lot longer than I have, but I loved it. The characters were the best characters that I've experienced in any game in a really long time. You really get to know them and what makes them tick, the things that they like, what motivates them. And it just was really a great game. The style in this game is crazy, crazy. Okay, so I have now moved on to my most anticipated game probably since Dark Souls 3, and that is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is one of my favorite games of all time. I just love how they kind of streamline a lot of the JRPG tropes and uh, combine just a lot of what makes these games great. And this game is awesome so far. I'm about 15 hours into it. And um, yeah, let me know if any of you are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I was thinking the other day, 
how cool it must be for kids today growing up and like this is the first RPG they've ever played. Man, how lucky are you? Also, I went a little overboard recently. Let me show you some things. Okay, so for Cyber Monday, um, I went a little crazy with the records. I, I never thought I was gonna start getting records, but then you get one and then all of a sudden you're like, how about five more? So let's start with Castlevania 1. There's that. Castlevania 3. Amazing, amazing game. This artwork is super, super cool. Castlevania 4. Definitely one of the best Castlevanias if you've ever played that. It's for Super Nintendo. Contra 3, another Super Nintendo game. Got some screenshots on the back of that. And just one of the coolest old school game soundtracks of all time. Streets of Rage 2. When I saw that they had this on vinyl, I was like, what a dream come true. If you haven't played this game, seriously, the music, just look up the music. I'll put a link down in the description so you can listen to the music from this game um, after you watch this video because it's epic. It's seriously epic, so. Yeah. That happened. So let me know if you're playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Let me know if you played Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Be sure to click the link for Tab for a Cause because seriously, why not? And uh, if you're not playing Xenoblade, then let everybody know what you are playing. All right? All right. And as always, thanks for watching.